good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, good morning, good morning. In what world do these people feel like they could just keep texting me? You know, when there's election day the next day, everyone wants to tell you to go vote for them. Well, if you spam my phone and tell me to vote for you tomorrow, do you know who I'm not going to vote for? You. All right, what's up, everyone? So I got to tell you, Rhino Welt. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian's back. Um, so Brian is like, his attendance is second to only mine. But last week, he was uh, a little busy. Hey, Andy. Um, so we're happy to have him back. And now I got to say I'm happy to have Andy back. And I got to say I'm happy to have Rick back because you can't just look at, you know, if you, I always say this, if you're like a waiter or a waitress somewhere and you're taking the order, I'll have the hamburger. Okay. I'll have the fish and chips. Okay. I'll have the lobster best. Great choice. And then the other two are like, <laughs> like, is my meal that bad? Hey, Frida. So, hi, everyone. Love you, love you, love you. Uh, so Rhino Wealth is just, it's really quite good. I, I, I love everyone. But Rhino Wealth is quickly becoming like my favorite child. Um, not in real life, because my other two kids, I, I miss more than words. But that's a different story for another day. Now to the bad news. Hey, Rita. So it's always funny when you say like, I don't know what I don't know, because I always mean it. And then there's a point in time where I'm a little tongue in cheek because I'm like, we're at the end. Well, Twilio for the, I don't even know why, is giving me the hardest time. Um, so I have two support tickets open. They're declining our, our, um, our um, submission to them. Now, mind you, when you sign up with Twilio, they put you on right away. They get your money, they get you into the packages, and then you continue filling stuff out. And then as we started testing, there was messages going back and forth. So that's Twilio's like, okay, they're sending messages. Now let's look into it. And they want this information, and which is all fine. Like they're an SMS service, text message. Like they should be up to the regulations. We're fine with that. The problem is when they give you such a hard time. Like for instance, we're above board and everything. In fact, we're asking them, what do you need from us? And we'll do it. So we're having very constructive conversations. These conversations are very slow because they don't get on a phone call. They just do it through support tickets. Um, but I have full faith in that. Now, we're going to have a redundancy to it. Like, so when I get off this call, there's a, there's a second and there's a third different um, SMS service that I'm going to reach out to get signed up with because all we need is a phone number. Ted is done. I was playing. You know what? Ted is so good that Twilio stopped us because I was getting so many messages back and forth because I personally was testing Ted. Um, so everything's good, right? But because everything's good, something goes bad. And that's fine. I always say, if it's this hard, it's this hard for everyone. You know, I'm at this point in my life where things that go wrong are no longer looked at as like inconveniences. They're begrudgingly good things. Oh, you're going to make this go wrong on me? You're going to do this to me? Okay, now watch this. And not like vengeance, but to go ahead and offset something that kicks you with when you have the will and desire to succeed, you have to overcome it. And in overcoming it, you develop the skill set that you didn't have by definition of being kicked. Therefore, every time one of these things happen, I'm like, I want to take something and throw it out a window, but then I stop myself and I'm like, we're just getting better. Like every day we're bigger and stronger. And at some point that bigger and strongerness is like, okay, go ahead, mess with me now. Um, so there is a scale to life. There is a scale that you get to a certain point where, you're, where no one can mess with you anymore. And we're, we're getting there quite quickly. Um, oh, all right, see you, Brian. We're getting there quite quickly. So. Ted's working. Ted's great. I met Ted. Love Ted. He texts you right away. Everything about Ted's great. All we're waiting on is Twilio. So after this, I will look at our support tickets. I told them that I want a phone call. They're, they're scheduling us for a phone call. And we will have redundant programs in place. I don't know how long it takes to get up with a different one. In fact, if I was a different uh, provider, I would say, oh, I'm competing against Twilio. Cool. They're the company that's so obnoxious that everyone just hates the process. Therefore, how about I make my process a little bit easier? And if that's the case, I think we'll be up quite quickly. So that's the TED story. Uh, Rhino Wealth is going really, really quite good. 
Um, we're going to, we have a 2.30 call today and a four o'clock call today for interested parties that will be contributing to that program. I, as a goal, would love nothing more than to have an official marketing or at least next steps out. I would say this weekend, but I know I'm just lying. I just don't think that's even possible by next weekend. Rhino Welt, for all that want to know, is going to be 199 per month. We're looking to bring on a thousand new subscribers. That has zero effect on anyone that's currently in Rhino Welt. Your plan will never change. But if you were someone that's that was like sitting on the line, like, oh, I want to be in it, but I don't, but it's always going to be there. Maybe I will. Um, you're going to want to do that quite quickly because, you know, if you get in after the 199, maybe if you email me, I'll say yes, but I really don't want to say yes. In fact, that's why I'm saying it out loud now. So I could say, yeah, I really did. But you remember on that live where I said I wasn't going to say it? I can't lie. I have to be honest, so I can't do this. So it's kind of like Jekyll and Hyde. I know I, know I want to say yes when you ask, Anthony, please, but I don't want to say yes. So I'm telling you now, you figured it out. Okay, good. Um, Rhino Bucks, I think we're 229, 60 something. In fact, I sent a little bit more money over. I really only want to do 500 a day, but we'll see what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, there's a chance that I, I buy a little bit more today, just because you know it's sitting right at that 229 something and i would love to push it over 230. so we'll see i don't know uh but we already did our buying today so you'll take a look and rhino bucks is over 128,000 now if you remember two weeks ago it was 112,000. if you remember our all-time high was 137,000, which means we're 9,000 from an all-time high which is like i don't know four percent away and we still have 45 days of buying in front of us I mean, I, I don't want to say it. So like, could we get to four? I don't think we could get to four because a lot of, there is a good amount of Rhino Bucks that comes online, I think December 17th, because we did one of our promos. Uh, it was our best promo ever, 50 cent coin. I think it was back in March. And if you purchased it, you were going to receive that coin December 17th, you know, a week before Christmas. With the idea being, if you were short on Christmas funds, now you have it. But if you want to give it out for Christmas, you could, right? Like, oh, look at that thing, it's $3. I got it for 50 cents, 229 20 thank you, Andy. Um, I could go ahead and gift this, whatever the case may be. And I just like being a holiday cheer type of guy. Be that as it may, I do then know come December, the funds that we're buying, we might actually redirect some of it to just a liquidity pool to make sure that we fortify it going into a number that we know there'll be some people that sell and that's fine right if a thing is 250 and you got it at 50 cents and you made 500 percent on your money god bless like i'm happy we could have done that for you happy you trusted us i'm happy we're able to do that but i'm not going to be so naive or 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 my head in the ground to not take care of everyone that doesn't do that right so i need to make sure that everyone's protected and that's just the way the market runs. Um, so that's our commentary on Rhino Bucks. Everything's good. And also, there's a, well, there's a law that I subscribe to, the law of slow moving objects. The fact that I'm talking about December 17th on November 6th means, what does that come out to? Uh, 41 days? I have 41 days to plan for an event, which means by no account is that event going to be a surprise to me. And by no account is that event going to look like a surprise. It will be handled. So I hope anyone that has a little bit of, oh, well, and that date is coming. Now you know how I feel about it. So I keep looking at the TV because I'm, I'm watching the market. Probably going to have to shut the TV. I don't want to see the market at all today. Um, so that's that. I said to Rhino Welt earlier, I'm not going to be able to be on the call tomorrow. I have somewhere I need to be at 1030 which is a really difficult time because that means I can't do Rhino Weld and I can't do regular Rhino because, you know, this is a 10 to an 11 o'clock thing. Um, but it's fine. I, I'm, I'm still going to, well, nothing changes, right? So I still, still going to be working on Ted. I want to get that into everyone's hands. It's very important to me. And now it's just waiting on Twilio. It doesn't have to be Twilio. It could be something else. And we'll figure that out today. I have our team call at 12 o'clock and I think everyone's going to be doing a little high-fiving because we're, we're, we're there, you know, it was working. It still is working. 
I just don't have the ability to message myself. But if I go on the actual computer, I could talk to Ted. So that's that. Um, so like I said before, Rhino Wealth, we have a 2.30 and a 4 o'clock call with people that are interested parties in growing that platform. The 4 o'clock call is very exploratory. It's just like when you when when what you know of someone checks all the boxes and then you want to see you know what comes of a conversation. The 2.30 is someone that I've followed for quite some time. I think he's fantastic. Really, really great. And his specialty is automations. Um, through Z uh, Zapier automations to the point that, all right, if we do marketing over here and this person clicks this, this is the email they get. And if they click that, then they get sent over here to this Google doc and then they're in it. It's insane what this guy does. It's totally, totally crazy. He's 21 years old and he already makes over $250,000 a year. And that was his first year. He's on his second year. Like that's how good he is. Um, this is all he does. So I want to get him before he becomes like, ungettable and i think rhino wealth presents that opportunity that we could really we could do a good partnership because i'm very open to making sure everyone is rewarded uh commensurate with the work they put in and really um really have a stick in front of them where they're you know striving for for something quite good so that's that um i think i kind of think that's everything I, i'm not sure that there's more we're just work, work, work right now, but we're getting very close. Uh, like I said, Rhino Wealth will probably be a mid to latter half November thing. I really would like that to, to be a thousand new subscribers quicker and uh, uh, sooner than later. I think it's possible and we'll see what happens. Now the market's up 30 points, so obnoxious. All right, so that's that. Um, I think that's everything. So. Love you all. I, I will not be here tomorrow. Well, I'll be here, but I just won't be available to take this call. So I will next see you on Wednesday. And I think that's all. So I, I, I got to all of the emails up until 5 a.m. this morning. So if anyone sent an email from 5 a.m., I haven't got to it yet. Oh, cool. Frida, I have a live event on my hub. At... Frida, 9 p.m., I'm sleeping. I'm so boring. I take my sleepy pill at 7 p.m., I eat my dinner and then this is how I watch TV. And then when my eyes don't open anymore, I go to my bed and go to sleep, which Andy will know because he, he texted me this morning. I think it was like 2 a.m. Eastern time and I text back right away. Um, so I'm much more a, a morning person. Uh, 9 p.m. at night, um, I'm on like my, my 17th uh, cow jumping over the, the, the moon. I can relate, Anthony. For me, it's 3 a.m. Yeah. All right, so I will see y'all Wednesday. All right, bye.